Well, it's kind of a big deal if you're a sheep to get caught in a net. There's a helicopter flying in the pens. They have a, we use a, a technique called the helicopter net gun method. So there's a big net kind of wadded up into a ball that has weights on the four corners. And the net gunner shoots that net out and the net goes around and wraps around the sheep and basically captures it that way. And then someone jumps, the other person jumps out of the helicopter, um, blindfolds, hobbles the sheep, takes it out of the net puts it in a sling bag and they get transported underneath the helicopter to this transport site. So we try to keep our handling times as fast as we can. Um, we're lucky today the temperatures are cool um, so that the sheep don't overheat which causes a lot of problems. So yeah, it's kind of a big deal to be captured but uh, we do everything we can to minimize the stress and um, we have pretty good success. And right now behind me the, the corn sheep are being are being processed for health care. So they're getting some, um, some uh, injections of some medications which will help reduce the stress of the capture. And they're receiving radio collars so that we can track them once they're released into the wild. Um, we're pulling some blood samples so we can look at some of the diseases they've been exposed to. And we're also running genetic profiles on them um, this time to test for genetic diversity. The first mountain range we're going to go to is the Caballo Mountains. There's a small herd of sheep there. There's about 30 sheep. They're a self-starting herd who came there on their own from the Frau Cristobals. And so we're going to release an additional approximately 18 sheep there, most of them being used, to augment that herd. So that's the big, the big piece. And then we're going to send five rams to each of the Pelencios and Ladrone herds. And uh, the main purpose for that is to put additional radio collars out so that we can monitor them. <laughs> 